for him. Obviously, the turnovers were kind of the big focal point there. It was what did you see defensively that allowed you to be so disruptive on that end? Well, I, th I thought we had great hand activity. That that was a big emphasis coming in was to really try to take away their pocket with um, uh, with any of their pick and rolls. And I thought we did a really good job of it. They got off to a good start. I thought they were a little too comfortable early in the game, but we turned that around once we started getting deflections. Uh, that got us out in transition. That got K-State loose a little bit. But uh, you know that's that's a that's a very talented team over there that was at the top of our league. So you know a really good complete win for us. I've used the word consistency with their group. Um, you know talked about that from the day we got back from the break, and I thought tonight was about as consistent as we've been for 40 minutes. And we played a complete game and and uh, you know shared the ball, uh, had eight turnovers, which is certainly a step in the right direction after the last couple games. And I thought we had good movement on the offensive end and got the ball to the right guy. It was great to see K. Say, get it going. Uh, you know, I love that his family was in the building. It's a special thing being away from his family for as long as he has the last few years. And, you know, for them to witness this uh, event, I told him they need to find a place over here. He seems to be pretty damn good <laughs> when they're in the building. And then Rink's parents were able to be here as well. And, you know, I just, you know, the thing you got to understand about Rink, he had his procedure done the day after the Kansas State game, and he's really had a day and a half of practice. And for him to go out there, you know, probably played a few more minutes than we would have liked just because of the foul trouble. Um, you know, in the communication that we had with the medical staff, he did not have a limit on his minutes per se, but we wanted to try to, you know, get him in and out as, as much as possible. I got him out of there early. That was by design. And then with the foul trouble in the first half, uh, we had to have him on the floor. He just does so many things for us with his versatility on both ends. But, you know, for the most part, I thought just the consistency, CJ going out there, uh, you know, we did a great job finding him. Unfortunately, he went down with back spasms in the second half. But, you know, from start to finish, I was really pleased with the effort that our guys gave. Uh, first. Hey. You got some pretty good looks in the first half. I'll flip a coin. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good looks in the first half from three, and then they didn't go in. And then the second half, they went in, especially early. Yeah, yeah. I thought Rink had a couple of really good looks that were right there, you know, in and out. Sam had a good look that hit, it just, you know, hit that grazed the back of the rim. Those are the misses. If, if you are going to miss, that's where you want them. Um, you know, we had one other one. I think it was Casey had a wide open one that didn't fall. And, you know, second half, I thought we played smart. You know, we had a couple possessions that would have liked back, but I thought we played smart. And when we got the lead up, I thought we had good patience out there. Uh, you know, it's a very good defensive team that obviously has got great length across the board. So, you know, I thought the, uh, the movement and the sharing was, you know, what we need to bottle up and continue on the rest of the rest of the Big Ten season. It's going to be very important. Wisconsin, obviously, it's, it's, you know, what they do. They're as good as anybody in the country on that end of the floor, and you have to have movement. You can't be stagnant down there. Or they're going to make you look ugly. So, you know, this is a good win. we got to learn from it, uh, get back to work tonight, and put an edit together, a clean up of this one, and then move on and put a game plan together for Wisconsin on a short prep with an early game on, uh, on Saturday. You touched on this, the turnovers, but felt like I played a very aggressive defense and I had a double team. And you just, what, how do you think um, you did in making Indiana uncomfortable and how much of a priority was that? Well, we, we, we had to adjust the second half. They did a really good job of just throwing the ball up to the front of the rim, and we had no answer for it when they were posting Renault and, and Ware was just going right to the front of the rim. And we had to switch up our coverages and go a little bit more one on one in the post. And, you know, it's something that we have. Uh, you know, with our defense, we, we obviously you can see it. We like to force that thing, uh, you know, down and, and trap it if it gets too low. But they did a good job kind of baiting us and, and throwing the lob up. But I thought the guys made a good adjustment out there and, again, got good activity. The guy I want to point out, Josiah, I thought was terrific tonight. He, 29 minutes, he doesn't take a shot. Uh, but you can argue he was as important as anybody on the floor. Uh, eight rebounds, the play he made where he dove from underneath the basket uh, first to the floor. You know, basically got the ball at the free throw line, and that got us out in transition. So, you know, Joe, with uh, again with foul trouble that we had, I thought was huge for us out there. Early January, a couple of weeks ago on rink, he'd come back. But I'm guessing a week ago, you didn't know when that would be, and you've got all these games stacked on top of each other. You have to feel pretty good about just back to what he did tonight in the games ahead. 
Yeah, and you know, and he missed a couple easy ones at the rim, I thought. And he, uh, like I said, had a couple shots that were right there in the first half. But you know, he, he he does so many things for us on the floor. He can play through him at the elbow. He makes good safe plays for us. He's uh, he's got great ball security. Uh, you know, he steps up and makes his free throws. So he just you know he gives us so much on the floor, whether he's scoring the ball or not. And I think he was a plus seventeen, uh, only behind Jamarcus is plus nineteen. But uh, you know, great to get him back out on the floor. Uh, hi, so hey, from WD Magazine. Uh, you told me that uh, NBA uh, from the feedback of NBA workout uh, is Casey has to learn playmake, but uh, you're, it, it's difficult to balance. You need bucket more than playmaking. You yeah. said, but uh, today he did it, and I'm wondering, uh, do you think? Is it possible uh, to be a uh, scorer to get the next level? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, the thing that Casey does so well is is his ability to space the floor. And, you know, when he's open, I think everybody's in the building is shocked when the ball doesn't go in the basket. So, you know, that's that's what our world of basketball is turning into with analytics is guys that can space the floor and make shots. There's so many great playmakers that can get into the paint. And when you have a guy like Casey spacing the floor, that's going to, you know, the gravity that he provides is going to force the defender closer and either open up a play to the rim or, or get an open shot. So, you know, those teams at that level and at the highest level of basketball now, uh, when you have as many shooters as you, as you can on the floor, those are the teams that are always in it at the end. So Casey's ability to shoot the, uh, shoot the ball, um, you know, I thought he made some nice floaters today, uh, hit a couple mid-range shots and uh, did a good job getting to the basket a couple times. So he's just, you know, again, he's, he's got the ability to score it uh, so well with his ability to shoot. And, you know, that's what's so attractive all in basketball all around the world now is when you have as, get, get as many of those guys as possible. CJ done for you lately, and, and what have you seen from him in the last three games that's enabled him to play? Yeah, CJ's been remember. unbelievable for us. And, you know, you look back at that North Dakota game, we were in trouble. And CJ was the one guy that was making shots for us in that first half that kept us really in striking distance. And uh, you see him go out there tonight, without CJ, we don't have a, whatever it was, nine or 10 point lead at halftime. He just, he's, he's one of those guys right now that's shooting the ball with a lot of confidence. And, you know, it was good to see him get it going again tonight. And I hated it that he got the back spasms because, you know, he was on his way to, uh, to a really good uh, overall uh, game. But, you know, I just love the way CJ's playing right now. I like the confidence that he's playing with. He, you know, got in the floor over there in the right corner on the other end of the, uh, in front of Indiana's bench. But, you know, he's, he's doing a lot of things for us right now. Fred, the first couple minutes of the second half, just how important was that? And, you know, you, you, I think you push it up to 15, like two minutes in or something. Yeah, I mean, obviously we, we talk, we've talked a lot about that. We had a couple games, Creighton, Minnesota, where it did not go our way. And it, it's been a big uh, thing that we've talked about with our guys going out and trying to set the tone, either getting back into a game or, or extending a lead. And, you know, tonight to get it up to 15 right away and force a timeout, that, that was an important stretch. You know, you hate to go out there and, you know, they score the first three buckets. And now you call a timeout and they get confident. And you know they get a little swagger going, and now you're fighting uphill. But you know I was proud of our guys for coming out of the locker room and really played good aggressive basketball in that second half, and really for the entire 20 minutes. Thanks, guys. I'll clear it momentarily.